How's it going everyone? Welcome to today's video. So over the last couple of years, especially in 2020, I have been making a conscious effort to upgrade my work from home setup. A lot of the time I'm sat here editing photos, doing emails, that sort of thing. So over the last year I've made a nice few little upgrades. I've got a second monitor here, laptop stand so I don't have to cramp my hand all the time. We've got this Logitech MX Keys keyboard recently and a simple Microsoft mouse. But these two stands that the laptop and the second screen are on, they do take up a lot of space. And when I have my tablet out for some Photoshop and some retouching, things suddenly get a bit cramped. So in today's video, I'm gonna open this box, which I think might be the most affordable yet most impactful upgrade that I've made to this desk. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Rich McKeever. I am a commercial and advertising photographer based here in London, but originally from the Highlands of Scotland. And on this channel, I go through things such as behind the scenes videos, editing tips, and I just generally try and take you guys, the viewers, with me as I try and carve out a career here in London as a working commercial photographer. So, like I said, I do love this screen. I do love this setup. It's really coming together. I've been trying to not absolutely obliterate the bank balance with all this. It's a simple IKEA desk. Uh, it's the mount that came with the screen, it's the Dell Ultra Sharp. Yeah, it's a simple stand and everything. It's a very nice keyboard and a simple Microsoft mouse. But things do begin to get a bit cramped. We've got a large footprint from the uh, monitor here. And when I've got my trackpad out and I've got this smallest uh, Wacom tablet here, things start to get a bit cramped. I'm moving this up and I'm trying my best to just make the most of the space. Once that laptop stand starts hitting the mouse, it all gets a bit cramped and frustrating. And one thing that I really do enjoy is when simple things work beautifully, when there is comfort in the products that you're using. You're not worried about space, everything just works nicely and it doesn't have to blow the bank out to work nicely. You can get simple products like the smallest tablet with the cable and it can all work nice and smooth and effectively. So, with, uh, it's quite heavy. With this dual mount for my screen and for my laptop here, when this came to my attention, I knew this was something that I just had to get my hands on. I recently discovered Ollier's channel and I'm a sucker for watching channels like Random Frank P who break down people's desk setups, especially his clean and minimal desk setups. I will link that in the description below. Ollier, who has such a beautiful, clean and minimal look to his channel and to his desk, he uses this arm, which he got off Amazon for 40 pound. I think it's part of their basics range. So yeah, I just thought if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So it is quite weighty. I've never used an arm like this, like a floating arm before for a screen or a monitor or anything. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. We've got two boxes. Sounds like a lot of things. Not so many things in that one. And then we have this plate here, which I presume is for the laptop. So let's go pull the desk away from the wall and get this thing built. This is the reality of the filming situation. We have a little newer LED box, which Helen just got yesterday. These are really cool and super bright. I'll probably do a review on these soon. We've got some negative fill and we've got the Pro Photo with the Octobox there. And I've also got a little light up here because the lighting was terrible and we can't have that because this is a photography channel after all. So let me deconstruct all this, put the arm together and uh, give you my thoughts. I 
just unboxed all my bits, we have a rather terrifying arrangement of screws and stuff here. We've got our swing arm, which I think this laptop stand will attach to. We've got the pole and an arrangement of clampy looking things that I think will eventually work and get us clamped in place. There is an option to screw through the table, but uh, I'm pretty sure I would make a total arse of that. So for us today, that's not an option. So there we go everyone, I've actually had this set up for a couple of days now, I wanted to get used to it and use the desk a little bit before giving a little bit of feedback towards the end of the video. A few points of feedback, observations and few things to review here, I guess I'll start with one of the negative ones, it is only very slight but it is. it was a slight annoyance and that is the laptop plate seems to kind of dip to one side and I think it's just because it's quite long the leverage of it pulls it a little bit. The more you tighten up the pivot screws the less you get that but it does mean that it takes a little bit of force to get used to. Other than that I think it's great. Um, positioning wise takes a little bit of fidgeting so definitely go for the clamp on the back rather than screwing straight through your table. Maybe you'd use the clamp on the back, get used to that, get settled on that position and then if you wanted to screw through the table. One of the big adjustments I made is I switched from the two lever system for the monitor, I got rid of one of the uh, arms to shorten it a little bit, centralise the monitor a bit more and then have it closer to the laptop screen so I'm not having to go from looking to my left to my right, I tend to sit directly here in front of the big screen. One of the other big pluses is that I can kind of push the screen further back and further away from me now. Having more desk space at the front as well means I can rest my forearms a lot comfier and I, can, I tend to find myself sitting further away from my screen. It naturally positions me further away from the screen and also into a much more comfortable sitting position. So all in all, not only does this arm tidy your desk up, but there are other benefits there as well. As far as cable management, there are a lot of different cables going on here. With this particular model of the Dell UltraSharp, I have to use various USBs, but um, minor detail, I think the arm and the clips that come with it handle the cables quite well, and all in all, keeps it rather tidy. There's also a few little hacks that having this arm has allowed me to do. I've stuck Velcro to the back of the monitor, and that makes it super easy to attach any hard drives and things. And then I've got that on the back of my laptop, Laptop as well so when I'm on location I can just slap the hard drive on the back of the laptop there so it's super easy to pick up and walk around with if we're shooting it in different locations. I've done it on this monitor here as well so if I need to plug a hard drive into the side of the laptop I can just slap it on there and it's not taking up any foot space on the desk and say if I needed to rotate the monitor boom if I was editing in portrait mode for any reason, I'm not having to worry about moving the hard drive as well. So super handy. That is also one of the other great things with this screen is that you can easy rotate it. As long as you've got your cables all tidy and behaving and they have enough slack to rotate, then it's no problem at all. In the end, it turns out there's not much left to be on the desk at all. Um, it almost looks a little bit too bare. Maybe over the coming days and weeks, I'll decorate it somehow and kind of spruce it up a little bit. The IKEA white isn't quite doing it for me just now. So that just about wraps up today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in this arm, it is linked in the description down below. I'm really impressed with the stability, the build quality, and just how much it clears up my desk. So I would highly recommend. It comes in at about £40. Yeah, link down below, so check it out. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more videos like this and photography-related videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.